Hello everyone, I'm ExtraShiz87 and this is Let's Play Pentiment Part 14. In the previous video we started the Great Festival, St. John's Eve. We're supposed to be talking to Caspar, but first, I figure we'll try and go check out the woods. Now, this is... We're maybe realizing now that this is not the direction to the woods, but I don't know, we can look around here. Nothing, nothing going. Yeah, we talked to everybody but Caspar. But, right, we have heard, pray tell, that there might possibly be something going on in the woods. And I figure we should at least try and check it out. Good evening, Master Mahler. You're not taking part in the festivities? Um, I came to ask you the same. I didn't see you at the uh, bonfire. I imagine it'd be a great chance to gather gossip. Ah, plenty of gossip to go around if one keeps their eyes open in the forest tonight. It's an enchanted evening. As for your question, I ain't got enough fire and smoke as it is. And decent folk don't like to associate with my kind. Even as they like the charcoal, they hate the burner. Other than Endress, he occasionally comes by, but I guess he has to keep good relations for his trade. People are fools. True. Doesn't matter. I don't care. As long as I got me and my black lung to keep me company, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I made my peace with the matter. For me, it's a night like most others. I prefer staying sober and observing the townsfolk. Easier to get all the gossip for the year to come, you know. Besides, I reckon I'm growing too old for mischief. Best that others run around in their silly costumes. Even though I do think this beard of mine would go quite well with some sort of forest outfit. I think you still have some youth in you. Eh. Like the sun rises to its highest point every year, so my back grows ever more crooked. Ah, but I appreciate you coming by. Wish you a pleasant evening, Master Mahler. Until later. Until then. Any forest nymphs out here? Finally, something at the Shrine of St. Sad. No? Okay. One of these days, you will do something. And I will be there. God bless you, Andreas. Hi. The waterfall must flow down from the snowmelt in the abbey, yep. I'm always saying that. Sir Andreas. Okay. Gravestone Lucky Lift. Well, there was just one lady and she didn't want to talk to me. That's fine. I guess, well, there's, you know, Martha. I guess she can be a lady if she wants. We already walked around over here. Did we check the mill? I feel like I did. How's a uh, how's old lady doing? You you still chilling and wherever you are. I don't really know how we get to your cellar. Alright, Caspar, I suppose we shall finally have us our talk. Okay, yeah, you guys are at the bonfire. I do wonder how Ulrich is able to enchant his sign so that it freaks the hell out every time we get near it. Oh no, I was trying to look at the bonfire. The bonfire is much simple. Nobody cares, Andreas. Master Andreas, look how big the bonfire is. The decorations are so fancy. 
Um, the St. John's Eve Festival is a big event for Tassing. I missed it last time I was here. Haven't you ever been to a festival like this, Caspar? <laughs> no, I've never seen anything like this. Can I save the bonfire and see the costumes and watch them collect herbs, Master Mahler, please? Um, alright, but follow along and don't get in their way. I'm too tired for the festival. I think I'll just turn in for the night. Yeah, I promise we'll make trouble. I'll see you tomorrow, Master. Okay. Caspar? If your ass gets hurt or in trouble while I'm asleep, I will never forgive you. Caspar? I don't know where to go. Caspar, you're supposed to tell me where to go. I mean, I feel like something bad's gotta happen, right? I don't know if it'll be like another murder investigator. I don't know if that's gonna be like a recurring theme. But I do see that on, on our map, the little points of interest are called investigate. Like, they're not just like a, like something vaguely generic, like event. They're investigate, which maybe implies that even that we're going to continue to act as like a detective. As like the main gameplay loop. It's getting late. I should get some rest. I mean, time didn't advance, so it, I don't think anything should have changed after we talked to Caspar, so I think we can go to sleep. Yep, that's how I sleep all the time, just right on top of the covers. I mean, at least he didn't go to sleep in, like, his full outfit with his boots on and everything still, like you see in most games. Oh, it's the damn labyrinth. It's back. Uh, do I have to... Do I need to navigate it? I feel like I'm going the wrong... Whoa, wait. Am I, I can't tell what I'm, what I'm inside. I'm inside the white lines. Okay. I was thinking the white lines were the barrier. Oh, wait, am I inside the white lines? I'm not inside the white lines. Wait. No, I am inside the white lines. Okay. I couldn't tell if I'm between the white lines. Like if the line, the white part is the wall of the maze. Also, this is not really the way we're supposed to go, but it'll, it'll loop back eventually. Eventually. <laughs> we just got to take the long way. What is it? Your ass is lost, isn't it? No, I just gotta... It, we're not that far away. Uh, wait. Come home. Mm, I don't know. You know what? You want me home. You've been asking me for me for months. And for months you haven't answered. What am I to you now? An annoyance? A bother? A nuisance to be ignored while you lead another life in Barcelona? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Is there ever an ounce of love in your heart for me? Not really? Um... I mean, as much as you had for me. You can't help but be cruel, can I didn't mean it, like, you know, it's a, we're on the level, it's a marriage of convenience. Say nothing. Fine. Go back to your whores, the woman who make you happy. This house is so lonely without him. Stop. Oh, maybe they had a kid? Your presence would only amplify the grief. Stop! Leave me alone. Leave me alone with the memory of him. Okay, so that kind of explains why he's sensitive about the kid stuff. Just leave me alone. Just for one night. One night where I don't have to dream about him. Please. Because I was thinking it was maybe just like anxiety over not having started a family yet. Which I mean, I guess it is kind of that, but more importantly, it's the... 
presumed death of the child. Hello, August. I know you aren't going to say anything. You never say anything. You get tired where you are? The last time I saw you, I said goodnight to you. I didn't come to the bed till I stood in the doorway. I just stood in the dark. You didn't say anything back, so I said it again. I don't know how long I stood there. Just waiting for you to say goodnight. You still look the same age to me. Wonder if I'll ever forget your face. Do I remember your mother as she is? I mean, I remember loving her. Maybe. I don't know. Can you ever picture someone clearly if you love them? I loved you, little boy. I loved you so much. Sometimes I wish I could die so I wouldn't feel it anymore. But I can't. I retrace my steps every night. And find my way back to her. Back to you. I love you, August. Good night. Damn, I, I was not expecting uh, that... That, uh, I mean, that explains the, the Nuremberg stuff, which I just kind of figured it was just general, like, anxiety over not really loving the woman he was married to. And that pressure to, you know, start a family. What happened to this place? Where's Priester John? Where's Socrates and St. Grobian? Grobian wasn't on the Ship of Fools. Won't you answer me? No thoughts for Beatrice? You're Beatrice, aren't you? Once. The voice of caution, of prudence. And now? More and less than caution. The ache of doubt that stiffens to paralysis, paralysis that breeds despair. Melancholia. What happened to the others? What happens to you happens to us. The foundations of this city are still moored within the ocean of your mind. Its court does not rule your mind. Your mind rules the court. Once reason, curiosity, and the foolishness of youth dwelt under the aegis of your intellect. And all that remains, the melancholy of life's autumn. How did it come to this? You've turned your gaze to your own dark center. You know the courses of your own life. You know how the choices you've made have brought you here. What am I supposed to do about it now? And that probably also explains why he didn't write Kloss back. Because he didn't want to... Like, it just reminded him of his own kid. Because I did think that was, like, a little weird that he would have completely broken off contact, right? Because Andreas hasn't really shown any sort of like, like, you know, I feel like, like as the player, a little guilty about killing Fenric because I don't really think he did that shit. But at the end of the day, you know, I had to pick somebody. But Andreas, the character, hasn't really shown any sort of like real regret over that action. 
but it being that in Klaus in particular, I mean, like maybe just like some general bad vibes about the whole situation, but that kind of explains the complete ghosting of Klaus and any of the other people who like lost family because he didn't want to talk about it himself. Change your life. Wait, I shouldn't be here. I needed to help someone. Is Caspar all right? Caspar, my boy. Ah, so your thoughts aren't entirely turned inward. There's still something in you that cares for others in spite of your melancholy. Perhaps there's still hope for us. Wake up, Andreas. Now, I wouldn't say that being overcome with melancholy means you don't care for people. Whether you're selfish. Then you think it's maybe... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's the opposite. Like, I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to make the assertion that people who are prone to depression have, like, higher levels of empathy. Um... Samuel, you still over here? No? I'm telling you, if anything happened to Caspar, I will kill everyone in this village. Just, just let it be known. It's even before that whole sun revelation, okay? A lot of commotion tonight. Sounds like everyone's gone to the woods. Smokey? Okay, the shrine. Okay, okay, Caspar, you're there. Well, I can't go there. Whoa, 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 somebody's running away. Caspar, you see that shit? Master Andreas, what are you doing out here? Um... I was worried when you didn't come back. Where have you been? I was at the bonfire with Killian, but I heard a ruckus from deeper in the woods. I'll have to go see who it was. Who the hell is that? Okay. I don't, I don't know who you are, but... Hello? By the good, oh, what are you doing out here? I was chasing one of the townsfolk, but lost track of the costume buffoon. The forest is off limits. I'll figure out who's breaking the rules and excommunicate them myself. Well, they all got masks on. Oh, God. What was that? Someone is screaming in town. They're really taking this nonsense too far this year. Screaming in my town? Um, what are we still doing here? Come on. Yo, Caspar, we have a, we have a full posse. We got an entire crew. Oh shit, man, that first zoning. They had like honey on them or something. Huh, never seen these flowers before. I wonder where they found them. Strange flowers. Who's that running off anyway? It's too hard to tell who is who in these stupid costumes. Well, who cares? Let's go see what the streaming's about. Oh, presumably something. Oh, shit. Is that Otto? Or... Werner, is he... Dead. What? Bro? Why does everybody I like die? Somewhere at least the rope the platform crushed him. How did this happen? Who would kill Otto? I mean, I don't think it's the Abbot. I'm pretty sure... Because he just... Come on, it's too, too on the nose. Some, which peasant has had the most opposition to the, to the revolution of the people? I feel like it's, was Linhart? I mean, he's kind of an asshole. I feel like he could murder somebody. I can't remember what his position was on the, uh, on what Otto was doing. I feel like he was negative. Anyone who's anti-Otto. I mean, there was definitely a few people. Like, Ulrich was kind of... 
in the middle. Baltus and Linhart, and I heard the crash and stepped outside to see what had happened. Werner also could be it, but he also seems a little too on the nose. Right, and then we saw a figure in a costume running off from the Roth house. It must have been whoever reached the rope. Well, that's not a terrible assumption, but we shouldn't just assume that. And what were you doing doing all this, Linhart? Enjoying a light meal with the gentleman. Ah, what a shame you can't blame me for this, Peter. Caspar, look and see if Otto had a note. Huh? Do it! I feel like we should be the ones investigating Otto's. Like, I don't know if he just said the little... I mean, he's not a little kid, but... Seems a little fucked up to send the teenager to be like, Hey, go investigate this mangled body for me. Are you certain? What were you, what were you expecting? I'm not sure. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be Detective Andreas once again. My god. Otto. No, no. You... Abbott must have killed him. The bastard always had it out for Otto. We all knew it. I mean, uh, yeah, that's... That's a decent assumption. If I wasn't in a video game, I would probably also assume that Abbott did that shit. We need answers. How dare you? I don't want to just stand here and be accused of a foul act by a peasant. Go after him. Wait, no, the abbot was with us. He's innocent. Um, well, I mean, I'm not going to say there's no way he could have killed Otto because that's, you know, we don't have all the information yet. We can't say for certain nobody did anything yet. Caspar's right, even if we don't have any proof. Grab the artist and the boy, too. We'll get to the bottom of this. Caspar, run. Oh, shit. What the hell, man? I've been nothing but a friend of the people. To the Abbey? Oh, we running. This probably isn't the first time Andreas has been chased by a mob, right? What the hell, Jork? Why the hell are you chasing me, man? It's fucked up. To the library, now! I mean, at least Peter's an asshole, so I get why he might do it, but, like, we're a friend to everybody else. They're in through the church, this way. Hey, I'm a spiteful person. If you guys chase after me any longer, I'll side with the abbot out of, well, spite. They've locked the door. Andreas, get out of the way. Otto's death demands justice. Abba couldn't have killed Otto. He was with us when we found the body. That's true. He did arrive with you, but you don't know where he was before that. Do you, Andreas? I mean, he is right, but... Who else would want to kill Otto? Coward killer. Andreas, move! Okay. But... If you go after Gano, the real killer will get away. No mercy! Face us! He's a monster! If those monks don't come out, we'll set fire to the whole place and cook them. You've all gone mad! Okay. Grenoble wasn't the only one who disagreed or disliked Otto. There must have been somebody else who killed him. We should figure out why someone else would want to kill him. Fine, dammit. You've got one day to find out whoever you think is the real killer, Andreas. One day? Otherwise, we will come back for the abbot. Can I at least have two? Andreas, all I want is justice for my husband. Please, you must find them. Hey, Otto is our best friend, okay? Otto was a good man. I won't stop until I find who killed him. And then, you know, worst case scenario, I'll let you guys kill the abbot. Okay, 
so we got we got one day hey uh, my my time guys that's not a lot of time I haven't really convinced that Grenoble killed Otto, but it was impossible. Um, Peter's temper got in the way. The Abbot's an easy target because he was at odds with Otto and his cause. Master, Peter was furious. He's only given you a day to find the murderer. Why'd you even agree to find who really killed Otto anyway? It didn't turn out well last time, did it? Why do it again? Uh, <laughs> we gotta right our wrongs, Caspar. Everyone that deserves justice, Caspar. You have a good heart, Master Andreas. So, who do you think did it, then? Where do we even start? We should talk to Lindhardt. He always hated the peasants and supported the abbot. He was very vocal against Otto in the town commons the other day. Even if he didn't kill Otto, I guess yeah, I don't think it's going to be him. It's going to be somebody... I feel like it's most likely going to be somebody who is scared of retaliation, right? You know, sacrifice Otto, like, as bad as it is, if they antagonize the Abbey, soldiers might get sent, and everyone would die. So we gotta get rid of Otto. So I think that's probably going to be the angle, right? Because it really doesn't make much sense for the Abbot to kill Otto. Because, I mean, he still has all the leverage and position of power. Not likely. Martin supported Otto and the peasants. Mm, it could be worth talking to Martin to see what they were discussing. He might have an idea of who would want to kill Otto. Because they could have been telling him to like back off because he might get himself killed. Because I don't think Martin did that either. Uh, I'm sure we can find some other suspects. We'll have to do some more investigating to find out who the murderer is, but we better move fast. Did the murderer confess to Father Thomas? Mm. I mean, even if the murderer did, Father Thomas is bound by the seal of confession. He won't tell us. However, we could eavesdorp. We could eavesdrop on confession since St. John's Eve just happened. Town Silk will all come in to confess. Yeah, one of the town so might have heard something anyway. That's a good place to start. We could also ask around at the Golden Hand. <laughs> a pint or two might loosen some tongues. What about the person who ran by us in the forest? They were in these flowers. I've never seen them before. Right, we have to find the source of those flowers in the woods. That might give us some connection to the killer. See, that person? I don't know. I feel like it's probably that they maybe saw the body and then ran away. Like, maybe they were the first ones on the scene. And then panicked and ran because they didn't want to be seen as the killer. But I don't think they actually did it. Whoever that was. Yeah, the flower might have a medicinal use. We should ask him, but then who would have the knowledge? Uh, those that I know are such a background of other Florian, such a Gertrude, Agnes... Uh, Werner, you know the guy, fucking asshole dude. Still have a lot of good places to start, even though time is short. We have a good chance of finding the real killer. Mm. Mm. Let's get to work. I don't, man, that's a lot of shit to do in one day. And we'll have to pick and choose, right? Like, our most, what we think are the most viable leads. Hello, Master Mahler, anything I can do for you? Uh, yes, actually. They were pretty vocal against Otto in the town commons. What was that about? Wait, was she? Just what I said then. I don't want anyone to get hurt, especially now. We've already had one death in Tass, and we don't need any more. You were opposed to Otto's ideas, though. He spoke against violence. Otto was an ideologue. He didn't see the reality of the situation. The Golden Hand relies on pilgrims and travelers for its business, Andreas. If Otto got his way, everything would be chaos. Swabi is burning as it is. We need the law to live civilized lives, Andreas. What Otto was advocating for scared me. Well, I'll do whatever I can to find the murderer. 
Thank you, Master Mahler. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. We got 8 billion people to talk to, Caspar. I'm glad you didn't get murdered, Caspar. I was a little worried. God bless you. Oh, that's who you are. Master Mahler, is there anything I can do for you? Nika, have you heard of anyone in here talking about Otto's murder? Not just talking about it, but, you know. Yeah, you know. Exactly. <laughs> like they had something to do with it. Oh, no, I think I remember something like that. Unless I was the murderer. Ha ha ha. That's just, a, that's just a, a bartender joke. Then again, I try not to eavesdrop on conversations. Don't want to get yelled at. Or worse, crushed with a stone. But maybe you could find more luck talking to people. Beer always tends to loosen people's lips. Buy around for everyone and you can have the run of the place. You'll be here a while though. Mm, nah. What about you? Whoever the hell you are. Mini leads. Yeah, yeah, there are mini leads. Okay, let's go. Where do we want to start? Let's go talk about, let's go ask about the flowers. Because I have a good feeling whoever the flower person is. They were first on the scene. Oh. When did this just happen? Last night or? That Abbott went on a bender. Oh, it is a new day. I forgot. I'm sorry. We'll have to pet the cat on our way back. Caspar! Mm. Write down in your journal to remind me to pet the kitty cat. It's very important. We need the good luck if we're ever going to catch the murderer. The cucumbers. Caspar, do you notice anything? The cu- Ooh, this, this door is open. Caspar, I've never been in here. A book. Why would a book left out here? It's been left open. I wonder who was reading this. I wonder which work it is. God, this is like a book of exorcism and occultism. Um, the writing on this side is a different hand. Is it? Because it kind of looks the, the same. See, where is there a B over here I can compare? But what about M's? Do the M okay, the M's do actually look different. Well, presumably that's an M. Or, you know. Yeah, I, I can kind of see a bit of a difference. The writing is in Burgundian French. Wood from his door, linen, and wax for candles. Sounds like ingredients. Wood from his door. Now that sounds like a curse. Like the specificness of it. That it's, you have to take wood from a specific person's door. A person who you're trying to curse. The only person I know who speaks Burgundian French in the Abbey is Brother Guy. Is Guy trying to curse Otto? Whatever this text is for, it certainly has no place in the Abbey. Yeah. I mean, it could be that Guy did it on the Abbey, Abbot's orders. There's a loose page here. Muriel Otto. Astaroth, Sombranoi. Moriath, Pinion, Ocel, Triboy, Norioth, Belfin, Bellyfirth, Kemoi, Astaroth, Sob, Sismael. Is the name of demons. This is a powerful ritual. I also spelled a little bit. I mean, the only one I really recognize is this one. I presume the other one's Samuel, but... So the spellings are kind of different than what I'm used to. Muriel Otto. Otto's name in the middle of a summoning circle, but why? Uh, he bestowed le, le basson de son fus 
Lin Sari Poor Bougie. I don't know what it means. I guess we're done. Caspar, is my cursor turning red at any point? Okay. I mean, it could be the... Because, I mean, we do... What we do know about the guy is that he is a sycophant for the uh, for the abbot. So, he, if he was ordered to kill Otto by the abbot, he would have done that shit. But also, he maybe would have killed Otto on his own. I see that as a little bit more like... Because I just don't feel like the abbot has that much reason to kill Otto. Because worst case scenario, if they did march on the Abbey, he just locks himself like in the crypt or something where they can't get in. Word gets out, eventually the authorities come and, you know, burn the place to the ground. Brother Piero, rest in peace, my old friend. We got the wrong guy last time probably, but this time we won't mess up. The guy's all desk. Why are there still supplies here? Mostly writing tools and parchment inside, except. But wait, what's this? Those lemons and a pen knife? Lemons, eh? That's strange. What would he have used for lemons at his workstation? An invisible ink, right? The scriptorium fell into disrepair quickly after. Or is it. Or are you supposed to use lemons on invisible. There's something to do with lemons and invisible ink. That sounds familiar. I can't remember if it's that you use lemon juice for it, or you put lemon juice on it. You're free to wander, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. I don't give a shit what Peter says. I know how to get to the library the old-fashioned way. Go as you please, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. Hmm. Why would they be telling us not to go to the library? And why would Peter specifically not want us to go there? That just makes you think that Peter killed him. Because that also makes sense. If Peter is advocating for a much more violent uprising, whereas Otto is trying to still, you know, give the abbot the chance to do their demands, it could be that Peter killed Otto knowing that he could blame the abbot whip people into a frenzy and... You know, any sort of dissent would be crushed in the in the mob. The peasants looted everything in here too. Huh. Um. Well, they they took the tabernacle, man. We should still look around to see if anything's left. I don't see anything, Master. Uh, a journal. Hmm. Might be Guy's ledger. Let's take a look. So right now, my two leading ideas are, I don't know, do I think Guy would have done it? I think he would have killed Otto, but I don't necessarily know if he would have had the, had the stones, had the guts to kill a man with a large rock. I don't know if he had the know-how. But Peter, we know he's an asshole. So I could definitely see him murdering Otto to advance the agenda. I don't understand any of this. Let me take a look at these entries. Abby's income, mostly a donation from pilgrims. It's not much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we do have an idea that they're probably getting illicit funding from somewhere. You know the Abby's expenses. Some of these numbers are awfully high. I think I see now. Guy is using double bookkeeping. A difficult type of accounting to understand. Abby is struggling to make ends meet, but the accounts seem to balance out. This page is not part of the ledger. A 
There's something... What, just a sheet of parchment with a few notes. Well, why is it tucked away in the ledger like this? What do, what do we got? Something ultimium... Family Messler. I don't think we know anybody with the Messler name. I see Gertner's. Something late. Martin Bauer. Okay, so maybe tributes are late from the Gertner family and the Bauer and Joanne. Joanne Bauer? Hang on. Those lemons we found in his desk. What if he's lemon juice to write an invisible message? I do smell lemon on this parchment. Caspar, bring me that candle over there. If we hold the page above the fire, we might find something. We might also burn it up. Okay. <laughs> Very carefully. I can't read it. Oh. I mean... Okay, yeah, oh, you have to really fucking hold that shit. But not too long. I... <laughs> Andrea! Oh, there it goes. Uh, oh my guy was stealing from the Abbey. Oh, okay, so he may be... I mean, I can't really read it. But I'm pretty sure the Tarda probably means late. Like, I don't know Latin, but... Um, I think that's, like, late or something along that. And tribute would be tribute. So I think he's people are paying their taxes. And maybe Guy is reporting them as not paying and stealing the money for himself. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds. That's as much as my father makes in months. He's sending it to an account of the of an Augsburger man who is depositing it in the fuggers. How do you get it? I can't. My mouse keeps going away. I can't click on it. I have no mouse. I don't know what that means. Okay, well, my bad. I don't know about this guy. would certainly have motivation to silence him. The very least, it's evidence you can use to show Guy was sending skim money to a proxy account in Augsburg. Yeah. But I don't think Guy did it. Like, based on the evidence alone. Like, we, we would need some sort of evidence that Otto knew about it. And as far as we... I feel like there's no way Otto could know that. Because he doesn't have access to the Abbey or anything. Is there, like, blood on the things? Got, like, a red tin or something on them. Yeah, like, Guy's a piece of shit, but I don't really think he's the murderer. Not even the crypt was spared from the looting. Okay, so you guys are still locked up in here. Who is there? Oh, we should also... Well, okay, we're not that over time. But, or not over time yet, but after we talk to Adok, we should probably call it. Unless it's a short conversation. Is it you, Lord, come to claim my soul? It's Andreas, Brother Attic. Andreas! Dear boy. Um, grayish pallor, shortness of breath, swollen fingers, sweating. You're not well, Brother Attic. Nothing. Escape was a bit much from my age. I feel aches, a heavy heart, but it will pass if God wills it. I wanted to ask you the presence you mentioned earlier. This is not the time to say something. I don't know when is. Andreas, do not think of this. It's not the time. Make sure the brothers, the sisters are well. I'll do what I can. Good, good. I must rest. Keep holding on, Brother Attic. It's okay. I mean, you know, Brother Pierre, he was like a one step from death, and he, he lasted like, you know, 
decent bit longer. Like six more years or something. Didn't he like die just like a year ago? Or two years ago? God bless you, Andreas. Has anything new come to light in the investigation of Otto's death? Uh... I mean, I guess I'll keep you in the loop, but I don't really think God did that shit. Now is really not the time to discuss amenity between you, Andreas. I know you do not care for each other, but it's hardly appropriate. The guy's been stealing from the Abbey. Pardon me? I've not heard you right. He's been obscuring in the ledger, but the evidence is there. In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds and sent it to the Fuggers in Augsburg. A prominent, extremely wealthy banking family in Augsburg. They held business interests throughout the free imperial cities and a monopoly on the European copper market. My god! That, that can't be! Also, uh, he's our god? Uh, you can't just claim monopoly over him. How did you learn this? I found a receipt in the back of the Abbey's ledger, written in lemon juice. Otto somehow knew about this. You can't think Brother Guy would have killed him. Well, if we weren't in a video game, yeah, but since we are, no. Because I feel like it's going to be somebody who's like not an asshole and you would immediately suspect. I mean, he might. He's never like the peasants, but murder? I don't think violence is of that kind is in his nature. I know his heart. Do you, though? Because he's just nice to you because you're in charge. He treats everyone else like shit. You couldn't have made a mistake. Are you certain? I mean, you can check the receipt yourself. All you need is a candle. I suppose I must. Times are so dark, Andreas. Even with the Lord's light to guide us, I do not know how we will go when this is through. Uh, there's little I can do about this now, but we should survive the coming days. Or should we survive the coming days? The consequence of Brother Guy will be dire. Thanks for hearing me out. Whatever you think of me and my intentions, I do care, care about Kurosawa. We've not always seen eye to eye, but I've never doubted your care for this place. In that, at least, we are aligned. One final thing. Have you spoken to him about this? Not yet. So he doesn't know he's been found out. Very well. Go with God. Now more than ever. Uh, until later. You're still a piece of shit, okay? Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Okay, I, I do want to call it. Put screen transition, get a little auto save action. Next time we'll go, well, let me get back on the screen so I remember that we haven't talked to the people up here or talked. I don't know why I keep saying talking. Is that I think I've always said? Okay, we probably shouldn't let Guy know just in case he tries to run away. Because I don't think he did it. So we, I don't really want to like fully commit down that line because I think the only reason we should talk to him is if A, we think he did that shit but granted, I mean, it's not like he can really get away well maybe like, I don't see any reason to interrogate him because I think this is just ancillary to the murder but we'll see Yeah, okay. Let's uh let's call it. I'm extra cheesy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.